welcome to Gunther's Gardens. This is the introduction. And welcome to the uh, geranium site here. Geraniums are probably the workhorse of a windy balcony. This is a very windy balcony. We're up on the 11th floor. They don't care. Uh, they will handle all kinds of wind and keep blooming. This one here, which is just coming into bud on a bunch of different places, is two years old. So it uh, survived the winter last year in this pot all winter. These two are also two years old, but we brought them in for uh, a week of, of very cold weather. Um, and so they're much bigger. And uh, this is more stunted, but it's, it's got this great compact quality. Um, on this side here is uh, star jasmine. and. It's a, um, a type of star jasmine that actually thrives in very low light. So if you have a low light situation, uh, you can grow it up. It takes no room. It grows on a wall, and the smell is fantastic. It blooms for a long time. Um, and uh, this is only planted about two months ago, and it's already this size. And I expect it will fill this entire trellis um, with uh, flowers that bloom for about a month every summer and smells so good, especially in the evening. Um, but they don't handle wind very well, so keep them on a wall that is wind sheltered. Um, a little bit more to my right is some Lobelia, just to infill, because it's such a pretty color. Then the next one is Heather. He this Heather is about three years old. Uh, it has not bloomed for a couple years, but uh, we tolerate it because the shape is really, really nice, and it is a fantastic wind block and doesn't care about the wind. Next to it, Dianthus. Uh, then we have something here called hot lips, which is part of the salvia family. It starts out bright red, then transitions into a red and white um, combination. Hummingbirds love it. Uh, I, I, it's pretty good in the wind, uh, not bad. Uh, but right next to it is some pink coleus, which are not at all good in the wind. So that's why they're down low and sheltered. Um, but right next to them, some rosemary, that is great in the wind. Then some euphorbia, which handles the wind well. Uh, here we have a fatsia, handles the wind no problem. And then finally we have an olive tree, which has got to be four or five years old now. You can see it's in full bloom. It's just about to drop its flowers and then start to fruit. The fruit won't be edible until December or January. There are a couple left over here. Uh, tiny little olives but they're really tasty I love the flavor um, they get about eh, about as big as my fingernail so far um, but I'm uh, you know eternally optimistic they're gonna keep on getting bigger every year okay so welcome to Gunther's Gardens I hope this gave you some ideas for a windy balcony thank you